guilty and kill another animal, they don't feel guilty because dog or pets, you know, they consider us family member. So killing a family member is terrible. But for many, they forgot that the cow also have a family. So who give the right to take one life and re reject the other? You see, it's the same. Killing is killing. And when you look what the animal go through, the pain the animal go through when they are being killed, ask yourself, God have given you a body, no? You see, for if you, if you needed to eat meat, which means from the beginning itself, day one when you were born, you will have been able to eat meat, no? Yes or no? Can you eat meat when you are born? You can't. What do you eat when you are born? Milk, no? Naturally. That means that our system is not made for carcasses. Dead bodies. Where do you put dead bodies? And symmetry. Is your body a symmetry? No, it is not. The body is not a symmetry. Carcass, corpse. And we say the body is made up of five elements. What's the difference between this body and the body of a cow or an animal? Is there any different? There's no different. So if you are eating the cow, you can kill somebody and eat the person also. Why you don't do that? Because morally, it is wrong. Yes or no? Yes. Eh? Morally, it is wrong to kill, an, uh, to kill somebody. Doesn't you have life also inside of you? Doesn't the animal also have life inside of them? It does. So who gives you the right to do that? Can you give back life to that animal that you have killed? Huh? You can't. So who gives you that right to take that animal life? So one have to think about it. That's why I'm mean asking you, you see, to spread. You know, in the worst industry, you know, the most criminal industry that exists in this world is the meat industry. The amount of killing that they do, it is said that in America itself, per second, they kill how many? Huh? 300 animal per second? Yeah, 300 animal per second is being killed. So imagine. And then you ask yourself, why is this world is going crazy? Why uh, there is uh, unrest everywhere? Who is contributing toward that? It is the, the people. You see, if your mind is clear, you see, it, it will be, everything will be fine. But if your mind itself is not clear, by in putting all this carcass inside of you, dead bodies inside of you. Do you think by cooking, you know, putting, grill them on the, on the fire, do you think it changed the energy of it? No, you're eating dead corpse, nothing else. So it's time, you see. Now, more and more people have this awareness. You know, but uh, many are becoming vegans, many are becoming also vegetarian, you know. But one have to realize, especially spiritual people should realize it. If they want peace in the world, you know, because uh, when you're on the spiritual path, you carry something, no? You have to also give that. So please, Encourage people. Sometimes I say, be aggressive. 
Because you see, if you you have to speak the same language as other people. Sometimes people don't. You see, when you speak soft, soft, they take you. Ah, these people are weak. No, they are weak. They eat only vegetable. They are like plant. And that's what people people who eat meat look at you like that. They see you like a plant. <laughs> you know, inside of their mind, they think, "Oh, these are spiritual people. They are very weak people." They think that the meat is giving them strength, giving them power. No, it it is giving them full of diseases, full of. Sadness, full of uh, all this uh, pain which the animal go through. You are taking it upon you. Somebody sent me a few days ago a uh, video. You know, we say Switzerland is a land where they they really look after the animal. Everything is done proper way. This video, if you look at it, the atrocity how this animal is being brought to the slaughterhouse is horrible. People are ashamed, you know. Even some of you are ashamed to talk about, you know, about it. You know, thinking that yes, if I talk about it, how my family will look at it, what they will think about. But you have to stop. You have to speak. You want to contribute to the horror of this world. It is time to. Have that awareness. It is time that people realize what they are putting inside of them. They realized that as you know, God creates this body pure, not to put corpse inside it. And if you put corpse inside it, then, when tomorrow you are, most of the time you see the people which is have to eat, who eat corpses, they are unhappy, they are miserable. Are they joyful? They don't have that joy. That's why when they look at you, they get scared. You know, why is that person happy? You know, why is that person smiling? They don't have that joy of life inside of them. They are closed, you know. So how would you reflect that light? You can't. So take also that as a resolution, you know, in your life. Not, like I said, you know, sometimes you have to speak. When I mean aggressive, I don't mean you go and beat somebody up and say you have to become vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean that, you know. I mean stand, you know, in your strength. More you stand in your strength, more strong you will be. More you are shy or scared, more you will be. So, the choice is yours, you see. What you want to bring in this new year, which is in a few hours. You know? And when you stand in your power, don't be ashamed of talking about your spiritual path, about your um, you being vegetarian or vegan. You know, you are bringing something good for this world. You are contributing something good for in this universe. And for that, you should not be scared of. Why are you scared? When you have to hide something, no? When something is bad, then you're scared. Yes or no? You're not harming anybody. You're not doing anything bad. Actually, you're doing opposite. 
So you're doing, you're bringing a different awareness to the people. You're bringing a different way of looking at life itself. Not only the little puppy which you see at home, oh, little, little doggy, whatever. No, life in general. Life is important. Actually, life is the most important. Without life, no one will be here. Without life, none of the five elements will have power. Imagine, what is giving life to this body? What is giving life to this mind to think? What is giving life to this five element to act? Hmm? What is, what is, where that power come from? Yes, God, but it come from life. Without life inside of you, you will be dead. And somebody can eat you afterwards. <laughs> you understand? Without life, nothing exists. You can be beautiful, masquerade yourself beautifully, you know. But if there's no life in that body, it's just a corpse. <laughs> After a few hours, you will start to rot. <laughs> you know, full smell will come out of you. When you're alive, you don't have that smell, but when you start dying, you start stinking. It's the same with this animal which people eat. There's this, uh, somebody sent me a, a YouTube channel where they took a piece of meat, they put coke on it. After a few hours, there were, what do you call it? Maggot? Maggots coming out from it. And after more hours, they become so long. So imagine that meat that you think is cooked you know, and you're eating your meat and you're drinking your coke, what is happening inside of your stomach? Sickness, illness. That affects your brain. No? Encourage your tamsic quality. Uh, awake that the animalistic quality. More and more. As it is said, the more the animal they eat, into that animal you have also a karma. You degrade from being human to animal back. To realize that, you know, being on the spiritual path, it is very important to keep your mind, your body and your spirit pure. 